Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I want to teach you how to play Taylor Swift's song called Call It What You Want, okay? So before I teach you how to play the awesome chorus section in this lesson, I'll give you a quick preview so you know what to expect, what it looks like, what it sounds like and stuff, okay? So check it out, here's a preview of what you're going to learn today. It goes like this. That, okay, so let's go ahead and break this lesson into eight small parts so it's easy to learn Okay, so the first part goes like this the first part right hand starts on the E here So middle C's here would go up an octave to this C starting on the E right up here Okay, so it goes E down to A three times And then three more times of fast A's so one two three and then C sharp Okay, so that is the first part okay one more time so the first part right hand so it goes like this it goes E and three slow A's and three fast A's and C sharp like that all right so that is the first part for the right hand I want to get that for the right hand the left hand we have two chords here the two chords are both the same chords they are both D major chords which is D F sharp A because of two of them Okay, so with those two D major chords in mind, the two hands together goes like this. It goes D major by itself, right hand comes in, third slow A with A uh, with the D major together. Just like that, alright. So that's the first part. One more time for the first part, so it goes like this. Here. Together. Like that. Alright, so that is the first part. Once you get the first part, let's move on to the second part. Okay, so the second part goes like this. It goes five fast A's in a row. So five, one, two, three, four, five, down to F sharp E. And then it goes six A's in a row fast. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, C sharp B. Like that. Okay, so that's the second part. One more time for this uh, second part, okay, so it goes like this. So it goes five fast A's, one, two, three, four, five, F sharp E, and then six A's, one, two, three, four, five, six, C sharp B, like that. So that's right hand for the second part, okay. Once you get to the second part, uh, the left hand for the second part is pretty easy. Two chords here, the two chords are the same chords, they are two A major chords, which is A, C sharp E, so two of them. Okay, so with the two A major chords in mind, the second part for the two hands would go back to, uh, would go like this. Okay, so it goes like this. First A and A major together, so it's together. And the next first A with A major together. One, two, three, four, five, six, C sharp, like that. Okay, one more time, so it goes like this. So it goes together, together. Just like that, that's the second part, okay? So, so far the first two parts will be played back to back like this, check it out, so it goes. Like that. So yeah, sounds pretty awesome already. Let's move on to the third part. The third part is super simple because the right hand only has one note, okay? So the one note for this third part for the right hand is just C sharp. Like that. See, easy, okay? So one C sharp. With that in mind, left hand for this third part, we have two chords, two E major chords. So E, G sharp, B. Okay, so two of them. With those two E major chords in mind, it's really simple. For this third part, what you do, pretty much, you start off the left hand by itself, right comes in the middle, and the E major again by itself, like that. Okay, one more time, it goes like this. Here, three, four, here, two. Okay, so all the chords remember to count four beats and you'll be all good because like all the chords kind of set the uh, beat behind the whole song and the section as well. But anyway, here we go. Uh, yeah, so that's the third part. So, so far, the three parts you've learned so far will be played back to back like this. Check it out. Like that. Alright, moving on to the fourth part. Okay, so the fourth part right hand goes like this. It goes A and then three Bs, C sharp B, and then A, and then once again three Bs, and then C sharp B, 
A like that. So that is the uh, fourth part. Okay, one more time for this fourth part for the right hand. So it goes A, three Bs, C sharp, B, A, another three Bs, C sharp, B, A like that for the right hand. Okay, so that's the right hand for this fourth part. Once you get that, the left hand we have two chords here. The two chords are two F sharp minor chords. So just F sharp, A, C sharp, the two of them. Okay, so with those two F sharp minor chords in mind, the two hands together goes like this. Right hand starts with the first A, and then the B and F sharp minor together. Once again, the B and F sharp minor together. Just like that, and that's the fourth part. One more time, so it goes like this. Together. Together. Just like that, okay? So that's the fourth part, all right? So, yeah, that's the fourth part. Okay, so far, the four parts we've learned so far would be played back to back like this. Check it out. Just like that. Alright, so that's the first four parts. And then the fifth part to the eighth part, there's a lot of similarities to the first four parts. I'll show you what's the same and it's not different. Okay, so the fifth part is exactly the same as the first part, so we know that already. So it just goes like this. Like that, okay? So remember, fifth part exactly the same as the first part and it will be all good. However, the sixth part is different, so we have to learn it now. So it goes like this. Uh, okay, actually, the sixth part is the only part that's different compared to the first four parts, okay? Because the fifth to eighth part, so the fifth, the seventh, and the eighth parts are the same as the corresponding to the first part, the third part, and the fourth part, respectively. So pretty much, you just have to learn the sixth part here in order to actually, yeah, get the whole thing ready, okay? So here we go. The sixth part, right hand goes like this. Once again, it goes to five A's. One, two, three, four, five, and then this time up to C sharp. And then another five A's, which is different. One, two, three, four, five, and then C sharp B, like that. So it's kind of different to the, uh, uh, which part? Second part, if you recall, okay? So it's a little bit different. Okay, one more time, so for the sixth part, so it goes like this, five A's, one, two, three, four, five, C sharp, one, two, three, four, five, C sharp B, like that. Okay, so that's the right hand for this sixth part. Uh, the left hand, exactly the same two chords, A major twice. Okay, but anyway, the two hands together for this six part just goes like this. First A and A major together. Next A and A major together. Like that. One more time for the six part, so it goes like this, together. Together. Like that. Okay, and then the rest of the uh, section, which is the seventh and the eighth part, are exactly the same as the third and fourth part, respectively, that we've learned, okay? Which is the E major and the one note C sharp, like that. And then the eighth part, same as the fourth part. Just like that, so it's really similar, okay? So let's just record this fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth part back to back, so you know exactly how it goes and what's the similarities and what's the differences once again, okay? So the first, um, so the fifth part here is the same, same as the first part. Now it's different. Same as the third part, same as the fourth part. So it's pretty simple once you understand the patterns, what is the same, what is different, okay? So as I said before, the only thing different is the sixth part, okay, which is a bit different to the second part, but the chord's still the same, but all the other parts, the fifth, sixth, and eighth part, same as the first, second, and fourth part respectively, okay? Just gotta reinforce that so you can remember it, okay? But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. So back to back, I'll play the all the eight parts that we've learned in today's lesson, and yeah, we'll call it, okay, just check it out. So eight parts back to back goes like this. Just 
like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this Taylor Swift song. And yeah, hope it's very simple for you to learn here as well. But anyway, as for now, check out my other piano covers and tutorials on Taylor Swift songs in this channel. I've done quite a bit of it if you're an enthusiast of Taylor Swift. But anyway, as for now, enjoy the time around my full channel with over 2,000 plus piano covers and tutorials. A lot of stuff for you to enjoy. And as for now, yeah, see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.